Hey guys and welcome! Today's video will be all about the Season 4 specialist Camilla Blasco, what effect and benefit her trade and gadget has in different situations and how to play and master her. In the game, Blasco is described as an ambush expert who uses her recon training and tactical gear to move through the landscape without alerting any motion-based technology, but that's actually only half of what she's capable of. Because Blasco is also the first and only specialist who is able to counter almost all of the spotting mechanics that Battlefield 2042 has to offer and for this video I really tried all of them on her and her infiltration device. So I started by testing out her trait or passive ability that is called Ambush Expert and according to the game it allows her to stay undetected by motion based gadgets. So I tested the Tox, Proc Sensor and Claymore, Boris Sentry Turret and Caspus Motion sensor and the robot dog ranger and results are mostly as expected. The proc sensor, tox and claymore do not detect her at all so she is not spotted by the first two gadgets and the last one does not blow up and she can literally walk right over it and for boris sentry turret it's pretty similar. No matter how close she is, the turret does not spot or shoot her, not even when she's in a vehicle. And that also happens at the sensors you can activate on some maps like Orbital, Kaleidoscope or Exposure. Even though the sensor goes off and starts to blink, Blasco is not marked on the enemy's minimaps, but that's actually what I had expected. What is a bit more surprising on the other hand is that the motion sensor Casper has built into his suit still detects her for some reason. Maybe this is intended because it's not an actual spotting gadget, but then again it is motion based as well. Or it's not intended and will be changed with one of the next updates. Not sure about it, but for now Casper will still recognize you even as Blasco. Same for the robot dog ranger. It detects and spots her just like any other specialist and neither the trade nor nor the infiltration device can stop it. She can also still get spotted by all gadgets and abilities that are not motion based like Pike's Scanner, Rao's Cyber Warfare Suit, Casper's Drone or the Soflam and by all vehicle upgrades like the Detection Pulse, the Sensor Array and the Threat Detection. So the trait keeps her from getting detected by motion based gadgets but does not protect her from other spotting gadgets or abilities. This changes with her active ability however, or in this case gadget, the X6 infiltration device. And this gadget is a lot more powerful than it might look like. According to the description in game, it jams targeting and spotting devices and also highlights them. The gadgets I tested here are the Tox and Proc sensor again, explosives like the Claymore and AT mines, all three vehicle upgrades and the active and passive abilities of the specialists Boris, Liz, Irish, Casper, Rao and Pike. So everything and everyone that has anything to do with spotting or can be jammed. Once the device is placed, it has an area of effect that you can see on your minimap with a green circle for your own device and a blue circle for devices placed by teammates and this range is about 25 meters into all directions, which means it also works for targets above or below you. And what happens to enemy gadgets within the circle is that they are marked on the maps of your team, have a little icon above them so they are easier to see and also get highlighted, which means they can be seen through walls, but only for yourself. So teammates can see the marker on the map and the icon above the gadget and you have all of the gadgets highlighted in addition to this. But what's important to know here is that most of the gadgets do not get disabled, they are only revealed. So if there is a claim on your buy for example, it will get marked on your map so you know exactly where it is, but it's still active and will still explode when one of your teammates, who is not Blasco, walks over it. Same for the AT mines. They are revealed, but they will still get off when one of your vehicles drives over them. And of course, that's also the same for the spotting gadgets. The tox and proc sensor are active, but the spots get blocked. And here this is the same for all spotting gadgets and abilities and not only the motion based. And also for manual spotting. So while Pike can still use her EMGX scanner, she won't see anyone who's inside of the range of the device. And Casper's drone can't spot anyone in there. Even his motion sensor is completely disabled. If you try to manually spot someone who is protected by the device, you won't reveal their position. Instead you will see an icon above their heads that indicates that this specific enemy is within 
within the range of an infiltration device and cannot be 3D or minimap spotted. For Boris Sentry turret on the other hand, this is a little bit different, cause here it also doesn't spot anymore, but it still locks onto enemies and shoots them. Same for Rao and his hacking ability. While he can still successfully hack and disrupt enemies that are within the range of the device, he cannot spot them anymore, not with his active and not with his passive ability. And the only specialist gadget that is completely disabled by Blasco's device is Iris Shootdown Sentinel, cause this one doesn't react to explosives at all anymore. What the infiltration device also does is jamming the enemy's minimaps when they are inside of the range, so they won't be able to work with them. But besides this, there's no notification that their devices were jammed or spottings are blocked. For yourself and your teammates on the other hand, there is a spot protected notification shown above the minimap as long as you are within the range of an infiltration device. And for every teammate that was protected from spotting, you receive 5 XP. Same for disrupting enemies and jamming their maps. When an enemy is entering the circle, you receive 5 XP as well and when this enemy gets killed by one of your teammates, you also get an assist. In addition, every time an enemy is attacked by the device, there is an audio signal played and this signal in combination with the XP event can be very helpful because it indicates that there are enemies nearby. Of course, it doesn't spot them on your map and you don't know where they are exactly, but once the XP pops up on your screen, you know that there must be someone within the range of your device, so keep an eye on that. Besides this, the device also has an effect on vehicles when placed close to them, cause then it prevents lock-ons from all enemy anti-vehicle gadgets and weapons, like the Javelin or Sundance's anti-armor grenades. Instead, it only shows signal jammed when trying to log on and Sundance's grenades just fall to the ground without doing any harm. The Tracer Dart and Soflam, on the other hand, can still be used and also still designate targets, but your teammates won't be able to log on to them. When using Liz, her passive ability that usually highlights damaged vehicles nearby won't work as well and spottings from vehicle upgrades like the detection pulse, sensor array and threat detection are also blocked. The only thing that is still working again and can't be fooled with the infiltration device is Ranger cause the robot dog still locks on and shoots at everyone no matter if they are inside of the range of the device or not and it even shoots at the device itself. But Ranger is not the only one who knows how to counter it. Once a device was placed, it stays active until you place a new one or you get killed or until it is destroyed and there are quite a few ways to do this. First of all, bullets, explosives and melee attacks will remove it from the map, just like any other gadget as well, but you can also counter it with a blast of an EMP grenade or of Casper's drone. What doesn't work on the other hand is destroying it with Rao, cause even though you can hack it, it will only get disabled for a short moment but not removed. And the devices do also not disable each other. When your minimap is jammed and you know there must be another device around, it's not enough to just place your own one. It's still helpful though, since your device will highlight the enemy one for you and then you can go and destroy it, but they won't counter each other. And at the end, some tips to Blasco's mastery, cause even though it seems to be one of the fastest masteries in the game at the moment, there's still a few things you can do to make it even easier. The requirements for the mastery are 1200 spottings blocked and then you will receive the tier 1 skin for Blasco and the tier 1 badge that you can equip to your player card, but disruptions and assists do not count towards the mastery. And what's important here is to always keep an eye on your surroundings and on the attempts of the enemy team to reveal the position of your team. So when you see one of Casper's drones flying around, mostly above objective areas, especially on breakthrough or rush, don't destroy it, instead place your device. But make sure that there are also teammates around that can be protected from spotting. Or check your minimap for choke points and contested objectives. When there are a lot of blue dots on your map, then it's a good spot for your device as well. What you shouldn't do here, on the other hand, is placing the second or third device in the same spot. Better complement the others and cover a greater area in some. You will all get enough spottings blocked at the end of the day. 
And what you shouldn't do as well is when you place your device and you see that there is an enemy tox nearby, don't destroy it. It will still try to spot your teammates even though it is jammed and these will all be blocked spottings for you and your mastery. And what I can also recommend to do, at least if that fits your playstyle in this moment, is picking up Blast Coast device again if you don't need it anymore and take it with you to another location. Cause the cooldown on the gadget is relatively long so waiting for a new one is not always the best decision. Same if you defend an objective for example and at the same time have enemy explosives incoming. If you have the chance to do it, pick up the device before the grenade goes off and then place it again. This way it won't get destroyed and you can avoid the cooldown. But if you don't want to stick around and want to be more independent from the gadget, be sure to place it at spots where it can't get easily destroyed or where it's hard to find. For example in the upper area of the cubes on Spearhead. And as a last tip, play Blasco in combination with the Tox or the Proc sensor, cause it's really helpful to know where the enemies are, but they don't know where you are when you jam their maps with the device. And when it comes to weapons, I can highly recommend to try her with an assault rifle or a fast firing marksman rifle like the BSVM or the M7, cause this covers a lot of close and mid-range combat and is still okay for a few long shots while your device protects a vehicle for example. And that's it for today, I hope you found this video helpful and you learned some things here and there that you didn't know before and if that's the case be sure to drop a like or a comment below and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more content like this. Until then, thanks for watching, I'm the Catwoman and you are awesome. <laughs>